that's wonderful. I, th- I just thought it would do the cat wonderful to be able to speak another, you know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, being multilingual is very useful this day and age. Hey, um, yes. <laughs> Oh, other world princess! I will do my best to remember that your name is Angela. Remind me, I have a terrible memory, but I would love to to uh, to call you that. So, thank you, Angela. And um, oh, Wendy, it's actually Kenny wasn't that ex. Um, uh, it was my ex, Will, the one who did Hot Uncle Boyfriend, which unfortunately is probably unlikely to be finished now, is it? Yeah, no, it's going to require, like, if we do it or Laura joins us or something. Pretty unlikely. Mm. Only X that I've ever had, uh, like, burned bridges with. Yeah, bridges used to hate it. <laughs> okay, Tor. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Simon teaching the cat a form. Why not? Yeah, I mean, it'd be good for the thing. Well, part of the story in our family is mm-hmm. that Sid is secretly in love with Emmy. So our dog is secretly in love with our cat, but she just she rejects him, so he acts out to her. Well, that could be it. Mm-hmm. Uh, a romance, uh, a romance, passionate in its depth, spanning continents, aeons, and species. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, and she, uh, she um she used to be a ha- a high powered businesswoman, and really she didn't have time for love, and she doesn't have the confidence to achieve it. She's she's very cap- capable as a businesswoman, but not as an emotionally healthy person. So yeah, you see, there. yeah, it explains an awful lot. Yeah, and Sid was part of the uh, CIA, and he escaped Russia, yeah! and uh, he carries weapons in his fur. It explains. Well, uh, to be honest with you, I think uh, Sid could actually carry, carry a small town in his fur, let's be honest here. I'll have to hold him up in the next Loot Crate video. He is insanely furry right now. Uh, as opposed to usual. Yes. Yes, even more than usual. Good Lord. He's yeah. insanely furry. And he needs he needs a haircut. But the people who do it, they recently moved shop. And they raised their prices, so it's seventy-five dollars for a groom. But he will not let me do it. Yeah. That's because he's been brainwashed by them. Actually, you mm. reminded me of something. The CIA uh, apparently during the Cold War uh, in Moscow trained a cat to uh, sneak up on people having conversations, and they so they, they they let it loose in this Moscow park with a tape recorder strapped to its neck. Hey. Yeah. You know, bear in mind this was what the sixties or the seventies, so that tape recorder was probably larger than the cat. Okay, so they, they spent a for, small fortune training this cat, smuggling it into the country. It had to be an American cat, otherwise it would do something unpatriotic. And they sneaked it into Moscow. They sneaked it into the park. They let it loose. The cat ran across the road and got run over. Oh um, God! What was um? What was that plan that the Americans had to paint Mount Fuji red, white, and blue, or red, or something. They were going to do that in World War Two. Did you hear about that? I never did, but it actually sounds absolutely fascinating. It's, it, I think it's down on um, there with all those wonderful ones you used to see about. Uh, they would, um, you know, sort of the, the, the plans to make uh, Fidel Castro's beard fall out and things like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think they mentioned it in Italia. That yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Right. I think these guys are actually doing a lot better now, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's going a lot faster, too. Ah, there we go. That's where we want to go. Woo! It's a passage. <laughs> no. Be careful. Avalanches. The ground here is unusually soft. Yeah. Those pink plants look strangely familiar, yeah. but we haven't encountered any monsters that look like that, except. <gasps> hey, those things look just like slurrup tongues. It looks like stirrup because it's like I'm looking at your screen and it's smaller. <laughs> stirrup tongues. <laughs> the ground, but he's but he's beneath us, and we fall. 
into the te land of the tentacle monsters. To land okay, here we are. in slime. And apparently those sugarcane walking sticks that nobody has ever seen in reality. Yes. The I know how petals. this goes down. <laughs> Snap shut around us. And we're violated. Nicole bangs on the petals. The petals bang on Nicole. But to no avail. <laughs> Andrea braces her feet against one of the tongues and pulls as if trying to yank it out. One of the petals. Well, I, I think if you tried, uh, tried yanking out my uh, my petal, I yeah, okay. One of the petals <laughs> wiggles. I just don't want to go down that route. Missy runs over to help pull. Pull. <laughs> On the stamens, pull, pull, oh, pull, <laughs> to make the stirrups' petals open. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> pull. I think we're getting into some uh, Futanari action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Release. Uh, pull. Oh, it's got to... Oh, good lord. This is going to be incredibly frustrating. Uh, release. There we go. Right. Uh, pull. Indeed. Release. Okay, so we don't, we don't want to pull that one. That one! Yeah! We escape. We escape with our... Honor? <laughs> no, I think that went a long time ago. <laughs> that ship sailed in <laughs> <PG>. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to car I'm going to up her, her fireball spell because I think that's getting a bit lack. So we'll do that. And there we go. Bang. Hey hey. Hey right. hey. Right, we need to go more or less diagonally now. So let's go do it. Let's do that. No escape. Uh, I'm just going to go through these guys now, I think. Let's cut right through them. Mm. Mm. Ah. Yan. Ah. Yan. Sid looks at me with such disdain right now. <laughs> if you're going to go around speaking foreign. Yeah. PG-13? I don't know, Shizzy. I think that we underestimate our young children's minds. <laughs> <laughs> um, if it wasn't for that, I'd probably get sued. I just wanted to run up to the parents and ask questions. <laughs> there are certain videos that I'm like, should I make this 18 plus only? But many of my viewers are like 14 to 25, and I really don't want to cut out, uh, like cut them out from the fun. Yeah. I guess. Well, the thing is, the thing about PG-13, if you're under 13, you're not supposed to have a, a YouTube account anyway, but we won't tell. PG-13 is allowed to have one F-bomb. Well, I, I, I didn't use that word once, so there we go, we're all right. Yeah. One F-bomb, yeah. I think three S-bombs? I would say them, but this is your stream. Um, the people who watch my stream know that I say whatever I want. Yeah. I'm Particularly glad. during mm. Alice. That's the reason why I like hanging around with you two. You swear, so I don't have to. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh my God. Last night when I was just on my own, and I, like, not only was I upset by that part of the game, but I was just like, I was like, bah, 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 bah. like so many f bombs, so many. <laughs> um, I think we're probably at the end. I haven't been taking account of this one. But yeah, I get it. It missed. F carpet bomb. That's pretty much the story of my life. <laughs> oh, thank you, Michael Rebecca. <laughs> uh, there's uh, there, if you, uh, there's one or two um, episodes of Magical Diaries when it was things were getting a bit stressful. That uh, well, I, I actually Laura used somewhere so I had to go and look up. Yes, uh, Laura gets so Scottish when she's angry. We need to play more Mount Your Friends. We really need to play more Mount Your Friends. <laughs> Missy suddenly giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Missy suddenly giggles, reaches under her, her, her skirt and pulls out one of the tentacles. Utnaria! <laughs> Let's ask her about it. What's so funny? I just watched the hot glue video. I was thinking, it's Thursday, right? Yeah, oh, I that. see I see why it's so funny. Okay, right, let's carry on. <laughs> I was just thinking... Since the aliens attacked today, and there have never been any alien attacks on other days. 
that we know of. She's such an Ellen, isn't she? <laughs> that the newspapers might print stories saying Thursdays cause alien attacks. Surely no report. Oh, come on. No, nobody's going to... I refuse to say that line on account that it's so utterly <laughs> stupid. You'd be surprised. I know I wasn't. <laughs> well, if there's some... Really is some reason that the aliens attacked on a Thursday. What if people drive more cars or watch more TV on something on Thursdays and that attracted the aliens? She's starting to sound like uh, Kitty Powers. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But she's kind of from now on. <laughs> even, if, <laughs> even if that were true, then the, the the cause would be the driving or the television or whatever, not the day of the week. Correlation <laughs> is not causation, uh, which is absolutely true. I mean, there's, there's, there, you can sh you can put up graphs showing that uh, there is a correlation between the amount of marma uh, what was it? yeah uh, marmalade eaten and uh, divorces in the United States. Mm. <laughs> Marmalade's terrible. Mm. Let's be honest. You're you're just one of those seventh day marmaladeites again, aren't you? Uh. I am. I believe that marmalade is only seven thousand years old. Well, uh, you could be right. <laughs> I think I actually I think I've got a jar of it in my um, pantry that's about that old. Yep. Oh yeah, Angela. It's I actually like to think of our dating sims as being the same actors in different roles, it's sort of an anthological experience. Yeah. I I, I just think that uh, they'd be even more fun if we got drunk first, but that's another story together. I can't get drunk, but if you and Laura want to do it, that's cool. I, I don't know. A drunk Laura, that could be scary. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've, I have actually encountered a drunk Laura. It's super funny, and she continuously asks for grilled cheese or cheese toasties. Just, Chris, <laughs> Chris, get me a cheese toasty. <laughs> like, over and over and over again. And he makes her one and she eats it. And then she gets frustrated because she doesn't have another one. And he goes back and makes her another one. It's super, super adorable. Oh, Chris, so well trained. <laughs> a huge purple swamp blocks our path. An occasional bubble breaks the surface of the dark liquid, hinting at monsters beneath. Do we have to wade through that? <laughs> well, the signal's coming from the other side, through the northeast. Maybe there's a way around, or another bridge? If we step on that purple stuff, if we step on that purple stuff, we could sink down and be trapped like quicksand. We could make an airboat, or we could just use Andrea and some paddles. If you have a light, shallow boat, hull, and a big fan, the fan blows behind you and pushes the boat, and you just skim across the surface. Ooh. Are you a big fan, or have you got a big fan? No, but I am one. <laughs> yeah, I know what I was going to say. Mm, no. Look, there yeah, are little clumps of dry grass making paths in the swamp. <laughs> we can find a way across if we watch our step. Or we can just throw Andrea down and walk over her. Just stay away from the lights or else you'll be pulled down and make little lights of your own. Yes. It'll be hard to dodge the monsters. Ooh. Um, Fat Frog asked a question. Oh, well, Mega Razor, thank you. Yeah, I wasn't upset when, when Alice became a giant. That was that was vindicating. And um, Fat Frog, I cannot get drunk for medical reasons because of my porphyria, but if I drink, I actually cannot get drunk. I hold my alcohol very well. Um yeah. And uh, I can't get buzzed on caffeine because I have severe ADHD. So, there we go. <laughs> um, right, swap you out for Andrea, I think. No, that wasn't the one I wanted, but we shall do that anyway. La Gloom. Would you all settle if we played Mount Your Friends again just for a very angry Laura? <laughs> because <laughs> she gets so mad. <laughs> If you haven't watched any of the Saucy Smackdown yet, uh, Simon joins a little bit later, but there are a few episodes of it. You should check out Saucy Smackdown, not just because it's on my channel, but because Laura is hilarious. Oh, I keep on picking the wrong person. Uh, there she is, actually. Uh, what is it? I can swap again. 
Missy, that's the one I wanted. Special risk analysis. La gloom. Right, so, oh, there's not many hit points. Uh, does an ink special attack. Okay. Oh, good. Saucy Smackdown is how you originally found Simon. Good. All right. You poor thing, you. You poor, poor thing. <laughs> Yes, Laura, Laura gets so competitive. I love her for it. It's hilarious. <laughs> and she gets even angrier that I am not competitive. Like, she's deeply offended by the fact that I am not competitive. And, I, and when I beat her, I just don't care. Whereas when she beats me, she practically, like, clicks her heels. And it's not that one of us is any better or worse. It's just that I don't care about competition. <laughs> She hates it. She hates it. It's so funny. I love her. I just want to snuggle her. <laughs> I, it's, it's just loads of fun watching her foam at the mouth, to be totally honest with you. It really is. Yes, I was having a lot of fun stomping on things and smashing. It was nice. It felt good. Oh, I remember these. Daddy! Yes. All right, so special... No, Ooh, that's just I, know a punch game. Thing. I know a game it would be good for you to LP, Simon. What's that? It's like right up your alley. Shadow yeah. Hearts. Or Shadow Hearts 2, even. Why does that game sound so familiar? Um, Shadow Hearts was one of the first games released on the PS2, and it was by Sacknoff, which was a group that broke off from Square. Hi, Andy! Ah, oh, that would it. Hello, Andy. Welcome back. Yes, oh, yeah. Kelly, I think Simon and Laura should be drunk when we play Saucy Smackdown. Because <laughs> I'm going to beat them anyway. I think, so. it would, I think it would help me too, to be totally honest with you. <laughs> yes, you worry way too much about those swinging dicks. Well, it's, it, 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 you know, I, I just get this feeling if I, if we play that for too long and eventually people will be urged out to ask me to do things and I'll just do them. You are feeling sleepy webcam. and slightly webcam, nauseous. Webcam, webcam, webcam. <laughs> uh... Uh, We've seen Simon you... on a webcam, Laura and I have. He's very handsome. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I am an aging, middle-aged computer programmer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not, but thank you nonetheless. Ooh. We think so. Slimed me. Slimed me. Slime. And isn't it our opinion that matters? Nope. <laughs> I met Simon, says Tort, and he's still recovering from the experience. Oh. Uh, and the Simon. burger. But the burgers were excellent, weren't they? Simon. <laughs> Blue with purple uh, hair. I'll, I'll, I'll account for that. Yeah. On the other hand, I, st I get to visit Smurfette on evenings, so uh, it's it yeah. works for me. Or Smurfette. Well, you know, she's the happiest girl in the village. Is she, though? Well, she's the only girl in the village, so she has to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, that dark. <laughs> I didn't say anything. That You just interpreted that yourself. <laughs> if he got 100,000 viewers on YouTube, he'd do webcam. When yeah. he comes to visit, I'll just secretly record while we play Netrunner. I did say that. I, did, I promised everyone. Uh, I get 100,000 viewers. I will do... Um, this is going to be a dead end. Yep, let's do Hi, this. Yeah! Welcome back, Miss yeah. Fujimoto. I gotta get webcam working tonight. Right, let's just kill this one off quickly. Yes, yeah, I, I love Android Netrunner. I play it a lot. I also play the original Netrunner, um, well, the original Netrunner board game. I play a lot of board games. <laughs> Yeah, I I gotta be honest with you. I want to play Netrunner. It looks like the sort of game that I would like. So good. Right now, I'm playing a well. I'm just for fun to like to kill time. I kill. I'm playing like a a butcher shop deck, which is re just this really nasty deck that kills people and moves really fast. But I'm also playing a new tenon deck I made, which is really cool. It's like it's this idea where if the runner, the opposite team, if they don't do a certain action and you get a free advancement point and oh my god so fun so fun <sighs> oh, <didn't> mean to <laughs> <do that. laughs> you will you will love it 
Or else. Oh, tentacles! Tentacles! <laughs>